Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Howdy howdy! Back again. So I was, uh, I got a little bit of work done in Minecraft before going to bed last night. I decided to start working on the mechanism building. Uh, so this is the mechanism building so far. Let me sleep since it's nighttime So you can see it. I'm standing on top of the storage facility right now. Oh cool You can see all the different armors that we've collected But yeah, this is the start of the mechanism building and uh, over the streams, you know over the episodes uh, I'm going to have it progress, you know little bit by little bit so uh, the two evaporation thermal evaporation uh, what's it called plants the thermal evaporation plants I went ahead and I expanded them to the full 18 and uh, if you can see they like I wanted to make one of the sides of the buildings uh, the same height as a max tower so this tower is actually if you can see there's no vents or ports I put some elevators down here that are hidden. They're actually a little bit lower underground. So I moved them down here so we can hide them. Uh, Trin's really cool cave illuminator has lit this entire place up. That is something that I didn't know was gonna happen, but I really, I'm really loving this. This is so cool. Like uh, I made the floor out of slabs so mobs can't spawn on slabs. But I wasn't expecting the cave illuminator to light this entire room up. So this is a really nice perk, like added benefit to it. I like it. Uh, and then everything that was on top of the mountain, I moved it down here. So the uh, setup that we had going for liquid chlorine, I have it plugged in here. It took me forever to get all of these situated right. I don't know what it is about mechanism or if I'm failing at something super basic. But I, it drives me crazy, like how I had to flip these machines and move them and switch all the inputs, and it just I couldn't get it, it couldn't get it to work until uh, until I did, of course. But like this, moving this took me like 30 minutes to try to figure out what order, because it should be it should be as simple as uh, water to brine and then brine to chlorine and then chlorine to liquid chlorine and then ender tank. And then just run power under these two with the advanced power cell. It should be that simple, right? But then I put the lithium tower in between the two brine towers so that I could do this, where I'm also going to pull brine out when needed from this evaporation block into the uh, the lithium, and also from this one. This one is also running brine, and it's also going into the lithium. So lithium is going to be fed by two brine towers, and uh, uh, that's why I have ports down here, but what we were working on was turning the, uh, the lithium, liquid lithium, now we're going to work on uh, turning it into a gas form of lithium so that it can be burned by the fusion reactor when we get to that point. So we ran into that bottleneck of we put it into the rotary condensator to turn it into a gas. Then we need to turn it uh, into, I believe it was tritium, with the solar neutron activators. And that was the bottleneck. We I realized that HDPE sheets we had to use the substrate, so we goofed around with that. We have the sheets now, believe it or not. Three three of these pellets makes one of these sheets, so one stack of substrate is more than enough. If you run it through the enrichment chamber, is more than enough than, than what we need. So now let's see, I ran, I think, two or three stacks through. Yeah, see, 42 sheets, so I could make 42 solar evaporators if I wanted to, which I don't need to. I'm going to do something a little bit against the grain. I've watched a couple of YouTube videos on my lunch break trying to see like how many are required. 
you know and I what I want to do is I want to build the bare minimum first so one solar generator I, a solar neutron activator I know it's not going to be enough but I want to work my way up from seeing where the bottlenecks are let's see I need the advanced so let me get two of those and then the elite let me get two of these and then the solar neutron let me get one of those so I'm no I know I'm probably going to need three to five of these and maybe another rotary condenserator to be able to make enough tritium to fill up a tank. But I want to do bare minimum real quick to see like where the bottlenecks are and like for real, how many do I really need to make? Uh, I think I still have slabs on me because I've been working with slabs now. Uh, I found out that... Uh, I'm really digging the slabs like they're easy to put down if you put two on top of each other it counts as a full block so you don't get that goofy space when building so let's make some more slabs stone slabs yeah 51 in here and let's grab some more of these while we're here and let's head up to oh, I should make a uh, 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 an ender slot for it now so right now I can I can fly on top and then let's see I'm just going to build a little bit for now so let me hold down shift let me see Just for now, I don't want to go crazy on how much roof space I'm going to use because I'm not going to go all the way across. And then let me wand this. Just to give myself a little lip to work with. There we go. I'll put this wand away so that I don't put down a second layer of slabs on top of what I already have. I'll put the wand away. And so we need it to go into the rotary condenserator first. Oh, and I put another valve up top so that we could do this. So this thing is going to go. I'll put him right here. And then we need a fluid pipe pressurized tube mechanical pipe grab a mechanical pipe and the tool that we need is the configurator and let's shift right click to pull going in there and it still had power from when I was goofing around on it so it turns it from lithium oh I can't look at it from here so let me drop down Oh, I need to drop down again. I believe it is mechanism. It's liquid lithium first. Liquid lithium should get turned into the mechanism lithium. Okay. And then it needs to come out of this into the solar evaporator. So wait. Mechanical is liquid, now it's a gas. So now I need the gas, so I need the pressurized tube now. Pressurized tube, and then I believe these have to actually sit on top. Because you can only feed from one side. Let me see if I can put it down here. Does it feed in the back? If I set it to pull, will you feed from the back? No. And I don't believe it accepts it from any of the other side. So, but let me see. Let me turn it and see if I can draw them because I want to avoid having them look silly by having them on top of each other or on top of the pipe. Let me see if I can make this work. Can you go in through the side? 
You can't go in through the side either. Does this have a configure option? Nope, it just has upgrades, nothing. So yeah, I guess it has to come in from the bottom. So I'll put you on top. You're going to turn into tritium. Cool. And it's not doing that much, but I'm going to put in upgrades and it's going to it's going to be pretty sweet after that. So tritium is what we need for the fusion reactor. Or is it liquid tritium? We might have to run it through another condenserator to turn it into a uh, to turn it into a uh, back into a yeah, it's a gas now. It needs to be turned back into a liquid, I believe. So let's grab another rotary condenserator. Another one of these. So we're missing the middle item. The tablet. We're missing the basic tank. And we're missing the basic tank. Basic gas and basic fluid. There's another one of these. And then... Whoop. Before I forget, let me sleep. Hold on, got some technical difficulties. There we go. Uh, so let me set the ender tank uh, or the ender location for it. So this will be mechanism. No, we already have a mechanism. So new mechanism, new mech. That works for right now. And we need, so it is now, it is a gas. So we need to pull it out with a gas pipe. Oh yeah, and it only comes out the front. We'll set you to pull. There we go. And I should be able to just put this guy down here. Or is it going to face the wrong direction? Yes, it is. Let's see if I can do this with a double slab. Slab, slab. Condenserator. Will you connect? Yeah, look at that blue color. I love it. So blue in. And it is it working already? Tritium, tritium. Empty. Toggle. Toggle. I guess, yeah, I guess I have to run power, right? <laughs> so let's see, what would be the best placement for the power cell? Uh, power cell. I would think right here. That'll give you power. It's all of it. I already have the linking card in. It's already set to out. And then power just needs to be run straight line. Power, power, power. And then this guy doesn't need power. And I really don't like that it's sitting, the cables are sitting this high. Or like that machines are sitting on top of the cables. Okay, so it's turning into liquid tritium. And then that needs to be put into a tank because I want to store a bunch of it so that the fusion reactor won't die in the middle of the night. So now it is back to liquid. So we'll do another pressurized tube. You're always doing this to me, buddy. Come on, there's only there's only one thing that you can do. Tritium gas to liquid. Pressurized tube. 
mechanical pipe. There we go. We'll pull. There we go, I can see it. Oh, cool. It's filling out the inside of the mechanical pipe. We need another set of ender tanks. Ender tank. So we're missing cauldrons. Make two cauldrons out of iron. One, two. And then make two of these. One, two. And then let's see, do we have light blue for dye? Light blue, we don't have any light blue for dye. What mixture is that? It is lapis with bone meal. Oh, I guess I could have just clicked that. So blue, let's do, yeah, let's just stick with basic one line for right now. So we'll go back to new mech. Whoa, I'm on top of the machine. And we need to put one here. Whoa. And I will set the middle part to be light blue. And then this tank. I'm going to clean this up, by the way. Just so that I can get it up and running and everything working, that's the important part to me. And then uh, making it look pretty is what I'll do off camera. So then what I'm trying to do now is I want to have really cool looking dynamic tanks going along these walls. So let me see, maybe if if it comes out one, I'll just put it down here for now. So let's see if I ever wanted to, I want to put a door in here. This is the back. I have the uh, ultimate mechanical pipes pulling water out of sinks right here and I have it lit up. I'll probably put a door in there so that it doesn't look too, too weird getting back there just in case there's any technical difficulties. Uh, so let's see every two I wanted to see if one two three four two spaces one two three four two spaces so if I wanted to I could put down two more evaporation plant plants just for funsies you know and I, I have a thing an OCD about numbers divisible by five so that would put five on this wall tanks i want to put two on this side so one two three four and then it's two space now let me see from this side the other tank one two three four and then what are we looking at in the middle i don't think i can fit two more one two three four and then one, two, three. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, no. Bummer. So let me just put this back real quick. And then I can figure out later what I'm going to put in the middle, if anything, because I want to keep it symmetrical. Uh, here, I'm definitely going to put a dynamic tank. I'm super stoked about making a dynamic tank with this solid color going all the way to the, the at least the second floor. Like the top of the thermal evaporation, I want that to be the roof of the third floor. And I want these dynamic pipes to be the same size as the thermal, but only go to the second floor. Because I want to make the outside out of glass so that you can see these really cool colors from far away. And I was wondering just now why I was clicking the blocks instead of holding down the button. All right, let's see. That's one, two, three, four. And then let's see, I can make this 
do a better job with the hammer. So I'll go back, let's see, one, two, three, four. I'm not going to need any crawl space behind it, but if the tank's ever empty, I don't want it to want to be able to see behind it. I can always dig out later. So I'll go up. And that was short work for the hammer. Didn't need the hammer that much. Let's see. Where do I hide my 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 overpowered Matic? There we go. Matic will go straight up. Still trying to get used to this weird jetpack. to go up this way. And then we can go down. All right, is that a straight shot? That is a straight shot and I can deal with the leaves in a second. We'll do that. This is this one spot right here. That drives me crazy. Need to put two stones in there. Okay, let's go sorting facility. And dynamic tank. Oh cool, I already have two pieces. Wonder from what? Two, so I need 16 on the bottom level. I need 16 on the top level. Oh god, I hope it doesn't use buckets for each one. I don't think I have that many buckets in my ME system, but keep using that bucket. That's 32, that's for the roof, and then I need 4 per level. So let's do an, a full stack of 64. And then I need a tank valve. There it is. I need a valve. Yeah, I do. Well, I yeah, I, do. I need to. There we go. That's probably why. I, no, was I making? Man, I don't know what I needed those. What I got those two dynamic tank from. Dynamic valves, and I want structural glass. Looks like I got one. Weird. Weird. Okay, I must have built, what did I build with structural glass and dynamic tank? So let's see, 8, 32 is also a full stack. Oh well, now I shift clicked it, there we go. Let's see, I'm pretty sure that'll be more than enough. So let's go back to new mech. Toss some of this junk in, even though I don't need it. Toss it away into the ender book for now. Get rid of these pipes. And I forgot the two smooth stone that I wanted to grab. One, two. Back to new mech, and let's sleep it off. See, I am really loving these cave illuminators, though. I'm really glad that Trin made them. Plug these two holes, and let's start working on the dynamic tank. One, two, three, four. Four. And then should I make it ground level, or... I don't think I can put the valve in there. Like, now it needs to go up from the corners. So I'll have to put the, t I'll ha have to put the valve in the front right here. Do I want to put the ender tank visible or do I want to hide the ender tank in the wall though? I could hide it in the wall and then it'll just be a cool looking multi-block that's a solid color. 
yeah, I think I'll do that. So I'll put a valve there and a valve there. And now I do need to dig out the sides. Just like that. And I can always fill it all back in. Okay, did I do it symmetrical though? <laughs> yeah, I did, okay. Cool, so I can move the... I could have sworn I marked it. Oh no, I didn't mark it, did I? Yeah, it's... Uh, Rob, thanks for, for coming back today. I'm really excited to see you again. It is uh, the liquid form. Oh, I had a drawer for the light blue. Can you believe it? So it went out of my book and back into the storage. So let's see. Yeah, up here I have the the lithium going and uh, being turned into a uh, liquid. And then with the sun being turned into... Uh, tritium and then being turned back into a liquid uh, into the ender tank which is going to be downstairs with the uh, dynamic tank that I'm going to fill up and hopefully the reservoir is going to be enough to let the uh, mechanism fusion reactor run during the night and not burn out. The ender tank is what you're asking, or uh, the dynamic tank that I'm building? Oh yeah, I hooked it up. Uh, I had nothing in white, 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 and I hooked it up, then marked it. So it filled it a little bit before I marked it. So now my white, white, white has a little bit of tritium in it. <laughs> kind of sucks. I'll have to purge it later. But I, I think because it's, it's like a portal, uh, I'm hoping that as soon as I change the color, it'll just change to the new liquid because the portal's no longer open. But I don't know, maybe on white, 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 there's like a couple of buckets of uh, tritium in it. Bummer. So the corners. Did I get everything? I don't want to build this thing and then realize that I have one piece of glass missing. No. Yeah, that's good. And I will dynamic tank my way up. Oh man, I wish I would have done the math for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I believe I did. Oh, I have to break these blocks too. Uh. Okay. Okay. I think I made it eight high. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this is going to be the top floor. I'm not 100% sure if I can make this structural glass, but I'll check. I want to test it first because I want to I want as much of it to be visible as possible. So let's see. This has two, so I should be able to wand my way all the way up. Nope. 
Ugh, okay. Got a little bit of lag going. Okay, that and that. Yeah, see, it. I'll have to clean up the back side of this. Ugh, I'm not. I'm not really a fan of wands, especially when I wand with glass. I wonder if I complete this unit with me in it, will it <laughs> fill me, fill it up and drown me? <laughs> Embarrassing. I'm gonna do the rest by hand. This wand is totally throwing me off. And there. There, 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 there. Okay, if I missed any spots, or if it doesn't work, it should not particle. Particle effect, I did it. <laughs> cool, so I'll have that. And then that will be one fuel on that side and one fuel on the other side. And then I'm gonna put the reactor beautifully symmetrically in the middle. Uh, I really hope I can pull that off. Let me grab the... Okay, so now it's a fluid again. I need fluid pipes. Mechanical pipe. Mechanical pipe, yeah. Well, every time I read mechanical pipe, the first thing I think of is that it's uh, items. Hmm, okay. Just took a little bit. And now if I pull... I guess I have lag. Okay, there we go. You're not pulling from it, are you? Um... I know I should bite the bullet and stop using the mechanism cables. I really like the mechanism me mechanism cables, but they just everybody uses Ender IO, <laughs> and like every time I watch people use Ender IO, they never have these problems. Like it just works. Will you work if I put you on top? Mechanical pipe is fluid, liquid, tritium. move this guy let's see like is it does it have to be a specific side to ender tanks does it have to pull from here that's what it was I was pulling from the wrong direction okay so it's filling this up and not very fast Now the question is, should I keep it like this? I'll keep it like that for now, because it's working. It's filling in this here. And now let's see, I want to see where the bottlenecks are. Go back up to new, new mech. Of course sunlight is going to be the first issue. But with sunlight, wh with sunlight, where are the bottlenecks? So this guy, okay, it looks like lithium is not a bo Oh, let, let me grab some upgrades. Let me grab a whole bunch of speed and 
because I want to see with the machines speed upgrade mechanism. Uh, let's see. I can make six. I need osmium dust. Let me grab some osmium. And see. And I'm also working on making an ME system uh, that is much more expansive so that I can try more with uh, auto crafting because I know that most of my time is spent like doing menial tasks. Eight, that, eight, I think that is three machines. Energy upgrades. Energy upgrades. Acht, sechzehn, vierundzwanzig, twenty-four. All right, let's see. Is that enough for the machines that I have up running up here right now? So let's see. So shift right click. One, two, three, four. Okay, you don't take energy. There you go. You don't take energy. Yeah, you do. Did I already fill this one up full of energy upgrades? Okay, you already have speed and energy upgrades. Cool. And this one can only take speed. And that's it. Okay. And then our, how are you on? Okay, you got speed and you need energy. Okay. All right, so let's see. Okay, so lithium is not an issue. It goes into Or is it not moving? It's not moving, is it? Yeah, I just noticed that too. It's not moving. But it's Oh, uh, no. Liquid lithium is coming in, but it's not moving. Hold on. So brine to liquid lithium. That one's fine. Was that? Was it that? No. Liquid lithium needs to be deconcentered, okay. But why doesn't it, does it need to be toggle? Yeah, toggle only lets me condense and decondense. I like have to, uh, I think if I wanted to do what I think you're talking about. Yeah, you're right. It is pulling while it out while it's making. Yeah, I think that's what confuses me sometimes because I see the number is 256 and it is not moving up or down or flickering. So it makes me think, well, did it just get stuck? <laughs> you know, but you're right. The pipe is full. And yeah, this one's blinking now. So that like mechanism just needs to let me know that it is functioning, you know? <laughs> so yeah, it's going in here. So liquid lithium is now going through. So I think it it stopped functioning because this button was set wrong. So now we need to let it run to see if uh if we run out of if if we run out of liquid lithium cuz right now i would say 
the bottleneck is this condenserator, so we need to put down another condenserator to work through the liquid lithium faster. Because that's where the bottleneck is right now. See, like, yeah, it's liquid tritium is at 256, 256. It is blinking, though. Two fifty six in the ender tank. Yeah, because the gas goes in. This one definitely needs to be condensed to liquid form. But why is it just standing still? Like it should be at least the the will the will the ender tank stay well all of the numbers will probably probably stand still you're right you're absolutely right rub uh yeah yeah you're right everything's gonna stand still until the dynamic tank is full so this thing is gonna like slowly start filling itself so we have the first fuel uh of of two working right now and then what I'm going to do is after I get the uh, both of the fuels and the tanks full, that's when I'm going to build the reactor and I'm going to turn it on and then see if it burns out, which fuel burns out, uh, if, if, if it burns out uh, during the night or if I'm hoping that having these two massive reserves of... Uh, of, of fluid tanks can hold out through the night. So like one of my tests is going to be, can this setup fill one of these tanks in one day? Because uh, if, it, if it, let's say it, it can only fill up half of a tank in one day, then uh, I'm not using the full uh, reservoir of the dynamic tank, uh, which then I'll, work on bottlenecks, you know, if I need more brine, more lithium, more machines in between, I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm going to need more of these solar neutron activators. But like I said at the beginning of the episode, uh, I want to do the bare minimum and then build up from that point. So let's see, let me check one thing real quick. Okay, I have just enough time today to put down another tank. So I'll put down the other tank on the other side for the other fuel. Let's see, dynamic tank. And we needed 32. Oh, we needed a stack. That's, yeah, so I did it again. Okay, cool. And we ran out of buckets, I guess. So it did. Did I? Why did I have like that many buckets in my inventory, though? I usually only make to what I need. So I need more buckets now. Buckets. Uh, Thirteen's fine. And I need two valves. I have 18 structural glass. And then let's see, I need 64. And then structural glass. I need 64. Let's go back to new mech. So yeah, like it's sunset now, and it definitely has not filled the tank. So I'm going to build on that. I'm probably going to build more uh, solar neutron activators and uh, slowly work my way up, which I can do that off camera, and then I can start the next episode with uh, 
what I found to be the bare minimum to fill the tank up in one night. One, two, three, four. And let's see. There we go. And up. That, that, that. And then I need one row. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. All right, and then one here, 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 and then which row did I put the? I put them in the back row. Back row, and then glass, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, six, eight, nine, that there. Let's see, it is night time now. go and yep definitely off just wanted to make sure cool are they the same they're not the same height did I miscount one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I like the number ten better anyway. I probably double jumped on that first one and miscounted. But yeah, I like I like the number 10 better than 9 anyway. There we go. And let's wand. And two, two, one. And glass. Okay. So you've decided to take that row as well. It's convenient, but it throws me off. Okay. 
Okay. There, 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 and there. There, 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 and then please give me a particle effect. One, two, three, and particles. Perfect. Second dynamic tank built. So now that's what I wanted to do, absolutely wanted to accomplish today, because I need to know, so there's a basement, there's going to be a first floor, and then there's going to be a second floor, and then there's going to be a roof. So I needed to know how tall the tanks were going to be so that uh, I can continue building the mechanism building. But yeah, it's going to have this pretty blue on this side, and then I be believe it's a purple, no, it's a magenta will come up on this side, and then the reactor will be right here in the middle, right here. I think that'll look really nice. Because I think the outline of the bottom of the reactor is uh, an even number. That's why I wanted to set it in the middle. One, two, three. No, it's not. It's a three by three with points. Ha! Huh. So I might push this wall out one more to give myself an odd number in the middle. But I'll do that off camera. The next fuel that we needed is going to be... It's, I know it's electrolytic separator with heavy water. Let's see what the pumps are going to be. Electric pumps. Let's see, can I even make... yeah. And again, buckets. So let's do four. They don't stack. Four sounds like a good one to start with. I know one is definitely not going to be enough. Four. Hmm, with speed upgrades, power. Where can I do this? I can make a little infinite pool and I can set them on top of the infinite pool. I can attach power to it. The electrolytic separator can go with here. So let's see, electro, electrolytic separator. That'll take care of the heavy water. I actually believe that's all that's required for the second fuel is heavy water put into an electrolytic separator. We're definitely going to need another two ender tanks. So we need another two cauldrons. Oh, I'm out of plates. Hmm. Let me see, how am I on iron ore? <clears throat> Excuse me. Man, I'm full I'm full on redstone, I'm full on glowstone now, which is good because I can paint the glowstone. Make it oh, I was thinking about painting glowstone as anti-block. Is it still processing? Wow. Iron. Wait, I was looking in here so I can ditch some of the stuff in here for now. I'll put this in here for now. And iron ore. Grab a good amount. How am I on? What else? I'm going to need lead in the future. Yeah, I've got a bunch of lead. Uh, <clears throat> copper, of course. I'm going to need bronze. Uh, 
from tin. I switched the laser. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> Even though I switched the laser, we're still really good on tin. I changed the input to this guy. I decided to make it input from the top and just be done with, you know, instead of putting in five at a time, I'm just gonna stack that and let it burn through. Uh, one thing I realized for some weird reason after the patch, I thought we had an energy crisis. I really did. Uh, but I found out when I disconnected the nuclear craft attachment that I had to the induction cell, when I disconnected this, I started gaining power again. So I don't know, I don't think nuclear craft machines constantly uh, take power, I don't know. Maybe it had something to do with the patch, uh, some kind of a disconnect in the power, because when I disconnected the power from the induction uh, matrix to the nuclear craft, the, induc in the induction matrix started to fill up again, which to me was just really weird. Uh, yeah, now that I have the uh, the solar plant up and running on power cells, it's going down again, which that means we're right there on that teeter-totter point of uh, power generation and power consumption. So yeah, the fusion reactor, it's going to hit right in place. Plus, I disconnected this just in case this setup uh, needed power, and it was such a pain to put together, I decided to just leave it here instead of repurposing, just in case I ever need to make the HDPE pellets again. Void Ore Miner is going with a light blue laser lens now, so that I can gather platinum, which I'm going to need later on. That's specific for platinum. And let's see how the mob farm is doing it. I'm pretty sure I shut it down for a while. Yeah, it's just cycling between these two armors. So that's been shut down for a little bit. Let me grab the ender pearls while I'm here. Only 11, because it's shut down. I must have emptied it before. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to ditch the iron. The tin, good. Ah uh, yeah, I wanted to make I wanted to ditch the iron so that I could make more iron ingots. So yeah, 9,000 iron. That's looking good. Uh, I wanted to make sure I had enough iron ingots because I wanted to leave the episode off. Since I ran out of iron plates, I wanted to leave off. Can I do a thousand yet? I can do a thousand. So I wanted to leave the episode off on this. Auto crafting. I know it's not a big deal, it's a big deal to me. Uh, 1,000 iron plates automated. That's so cool. Yeah, the, it's the little things that, that, uh, that make me really happy about this game. That I got this to work makes me really happy. But uh, yeah, that's the hour for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care.